season, yeah. kind of being the keystone since you kind of know what you got from Rand to Juan. Yeah. You know, I, I, that's, a, that's a great question. You know, Jamal is, is Ray, Ray just being the starter on, on there sometimes overshadows how critical Jamal Johnson has been to the success of our football program. And it's really probably unfair in a lot of ways because as we've moved from a in and out of a four down to a three down front and three down to a four down front, you know, the guy that kind of gets a little bit messed of how critical to the success of our program is Jamal. And, you know, Jamal, you're right, Jamal took that um, that Liberty Bowl game and, you know, in some critical moments again last year, Jamal Johnson is the guy that had the opportunity to stand up and play. And I think what's really unique is that entire defensive line room, you know, now it's not about who gets the credit. It's about, you know, preparing and challenging themselves and challenging each other to be prepared for the moment. And Jamal's done that. And you, you know, you go back to Jamal's situation, uh, uh, you know, a great example we all know is the West Virginia game. You know, Ray's, Ray can't play in the game. Jamal steps in, is outstanding. You know, Isaiah Lee gets a little bit of a playing time in that game, is outstanding. And so I think that's where we hope we're getting our program. You're going to have great players. Great players are going to leave. But great, the great players are teaching the young players what it's like to work hard, be prepared for the moment, and understand what their accountability is. And I think that's what's happened with Ray and Jamal, and it's been really fun to watch.